Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first episode of The Best and Worst Voxel Ideas, Episode 1, where I review the ideas uh, from the Game Feedback channel in the Discord, in the official Foxhole Discord, um, and I look over all of uh, the month's game feedback. So I looked over all of October's, and I chose the five best and worst ideas to review. So let's get to them. One of the best ideas uh, that I came across, uh, across was the bulldozer. Now, the way they detail the bulldozer in their description with, you know, removing bushes and trees and trunks, um, I don't think, you know, that's ever going to be implemented. We have asked for things like that for a long time. I think you would just have a group of people that would remove, you know, every single bush and every single tree in the entire game. So we're never going to have that. But the bulldozer to remove trenches, remove, you know, destroyed concrete bunkers or destroyed bunkers to uh, remove just anything in the way to make, uh, just so we don't have to use mammons anymore. We need to get rid of using mammons to destroy things. So we need something like a bulldozer to take over and do that for us. With this submission for bad ideas, we got two, two for one, which was really nice. They were right next to each other. So it made the screenshot really nice. So the first one to look at is uh, Dr. Muffins up there wants to rename the servers something different besides Abel, Baker, and Charlie. And basically what they're trying to get at in their um, their ask here is not to have a quote unquote main server. And I just don't think that should be a thing. I think a lot of us think that that should not be a thing. There should be only one main server. You know, when there's an influx of players like there is now with 1.0, it's great, you know, to lessen the queues to have a, a Barley and a, Ch a Charlie, a Baker and a Charlie, but you know, after this first war, we should have got rid of Charlie, honestly. And we should just have Abel and Baker. And then we should do like one or two more wars. And then we should just be back down to Abel when the population kind of steadies out a little bit more. And there should be only one main server with all the lore, all, you know, the who's winning the most between the Wardens and the Collies. There should just be one server. I'm sorry, Dr. Muffins, but that's just my opinion. And with the second one here with Vanguard, uh, saying rank uh, restrictions, you know, only sergeants can make squads. Um, we've seen this time and time again, too, that people want rank re restrictions. You know, they always want it for the most, kind of, I think, the most ridiculous things. I think the best thing for rank restriction would be, like, you can't pull certain materials until you're a certain rank, right? Like, you know, there's the whole controversy with B subs and G subs. Like, you can't, you can't pull those from bunkers until you're a certain rank or something. In my opinion, honestly, you shouldn't be able to pull them at all. I think they should just do that. But there's different ways, I think, for rank restriction to basically combat alts. But other than that, there should be no rank restrictions. I thought about this all of 1.0 uh, war. Uh, you know, I felt really bad for the fuel truck. I felt really bad for the regiments that like to do just fuel truck runs and things. Um, you know, that are the logic plan for fuel trucks. Um, they really, they really need to rework fuel trucks so this is a great idea of changing it back to 100 carrying at least you know 100 uh, fuel packages instead of 25 i you know when i was playing i was thinking at least up it to like 40 or 50 or something you know definitely make it so you can't pull fuel out of the fuel tank obviously save that for the yellow containers but it just needs a higher capacity at least in my opinion 50 at least 50 um to carry it and the fuel tanks themselves, the yellow ones I'm talking about now, the new ones, they need to not decay at all. There needs to be no decay with them wherever you're setting them down. Uh, maybe that's like a thing so that they just can't be placed for blockades or something. Maybe it's just one of those, you know, things. But uh, yeah, so this definitely fuel trucks need to rework so they're they're utilized a lot better. Um, 50 slot, 50 somewhere between 50 and 100 uh, needs to be needs to happen. Now you see this complaint come up. Time and time again about clans, you know, hoarding resources on the server and just, you know, it's it's making trouble for the the solo players. Essentially, the solo players are always kind of complaining that you know big clans kind of run the war uh, more than anything. Which in some cases that's true. Let's be honest, and that's why they they deserve to have locked stockpiles. This person wants them removed so that the you know materials just go public everywhere, which just which would just cause chaos. It would be. So bad people fighting over resources if it was all public it's in a perfect spot right now with uh clan locked stockpiles they have to be touched you know every two days 
Uh, otherwise, it does go to public, so that's perfect. So it's not like they're hoarding them and not doing anything with them. Um, you know, these people that just need to get over that clans need these reserve stockpiles to do their operations. You know, when they're doing their big missions, they need to reserve these these 120s, these artillery guns, these vehicles to transport them. I think people um, are just missing this. Maybe they haven't belonged to a big regiment or a clan, and they're just kind of missing why this should be a thing, why reserving the stockpile. I will say as a solo logic player though, with, who has played uh, for FMAT, who's been in you know uh, a big operation of, of uh, logistics, I would like solo logic players pull time increase just a little. I don't want it the same as you know clan reserves because I think that would be way too fast, but it should be increased just a little bit, uh, the pull time from seaports and storage depots. But overall, keep, keep the, the stockpiles locked. I actually never thought about this until I read this feedback right here, but absolutely rain when it's raining and when there's when it's snowing should absolutely affect, you know, fire on bunkers and uh, anything that's on fire. Honestly, I think I think if it's not raining and snowing and something's on fire and then it starts raining and snowing, it should put it out. I also think that if it is already raining or snowing, then no fire should occur at all. It shouldn't even start. I think that would make it really strategic on when you know that would slow the pace of like those assaults down. And it would answer, add some uh, little RNG kind of fun elements, like they in operations like oh we're gonna go fire all these fire missiles and then they get to the territory and it starts raining. Now they have to halt, you know, doing that until the rain stops. So absolutely, this should be implemented. We are looking at the top comment here, which is going to be add planes so that they can drop bombs. This, I mean, have we seen how trains have already gone over with all the bugs that trains have brought? You think that we could bring planes into this game? I can't even imagine how that would look like in the game wise, you know, with our top down view. It's just never going to be a thing. Planes, I will just mark my word, I'll eat a shoe or whatever if they ever come out with planes, but it'll not, not ever happen. And this person wants to drop bombs with them. Artillery, just use artillery. Artillery is the way to go. So. This isn't World of Tanks or whatever with tanks and planes and things. I just think planes are never going to happen. Not in this game. I thought this was kind of a really fun idea of the ability to make a water well. You know, use shovels and it costs bee mats uh, to make this water well that makes, you know, one water bucket or something every 20 seconds uh, that you can pull out. Um, and you can kind of make it near bases and things like that. Maybe it, maybe it takes G subs or B subs, you know, away sort of thing, uh, even has a capacity, so you can't just go to infinite. I think this would be really, really useful uh, with uh, going against fire. Uh, we're all complaining against fire right now, so I think this would be a useful useful thing to add. Of course, when you're adding this type of thing, you have to make sure you're adding it, so it just can't be abused in any other way. You know, again, blocking roads or uh, making it just a defense structure, essentially. Um, so, but yeah, I think having the ability to build a water well would be really cool. This person wants to be a spy. They want to have some spy element, almost essentially. So they want it so that when you're driving enemy vehicles, like the faction vehicles, that the AI won't shoot you or anything. That would be, it would be interesting gameplay because then I feel like you would want to steal more other, the other factions uh, vehicles more often. Because basically all you have to do too is like load up somebody with satchels, drive an enemy's vehicle back to their base, and then just satchel stuff. Nobody wants to try and defend that. I mean, the spy elements, a cool element to think about, like in LARPing form or in lore form, they just can't really be a thing in this game. I mean, we already have spies in this game by alts, essentially. We have to be on the lookout for alts on our sides. But yeah, this would be pretty game-breaking if... Uh, AI didn't shoot, you know, with similar faction vehicles and things like that. Because again, somebody would just load up with satchels and satchel everything to death. So, not not a great idea. Definitely, definitely one of the more uh, involved ideas here. You know, with the, the render of this vehicle and everything. But basically, a vehicle that just carries pallets to the new facilities. Um, during this last uh, first first 1.0 war, something I noticed driving by facilities all the time is they would have numerous flatbeds at them just not being used like at all each each facility would maybe have anywhere between two to five flatbeds that were just sitting there and during the war you know i noticed that we were constantly having to make more flatbeds refuel them if there was some vehicle like this that was just you know this small vehicle for carrying around those 
pallets. I feel like facilities wouldn't need as many flatbeds at them and we could put them back in more for long range lodgy. So I think this this is an excellent idea to, to have this vehicle in the game for the new facilities. Maybe we'll see something like this down the road. I know I went over five good ones, but I just wanted to do this one as an honorable mention. Uh, this uh, bloody card of beefy had a great idea of just being able to kind of build a bicycle anywhere with a hammer, you know, for 50 to 80 B mats. I'd even make it 100 B mats if you could just do it anywhere in the world. I think that would be a really great idea. Um, I think you could just get around places a lot quicker, obviously. Uh, B mats would be used up a lot more too, which I don't know if that would be good or bad. Um, and then of course with you know as we talked about this throughout this review is like is it is there a way to abuse it could somebody just spam bicycles in the middle of a war and block off a road or maybe we would all do like a bicycle rush <laughs> on the front line maybe that would be too much i mean you would definitely see an influx of bicycles everywhere but i don't know maybe to maybe try it out for a war and see if it would be uh worth it being able just to build it anywhere which would just uh yeah i thought this was just a really Great honorable mention of an idea. That's been my review of the ideas that I saw in game feedback in the Discord from October. I plan on doing a November edition as well. Um, so if you have any feedback from this episode, it's the first one. Uh, feel free to leave some feedback and let me know how I can improve this process and doing it. I kind of had a lot of fun just reading through all of the different ideas and kind of thinking through it in a, a logy sense. I did skip over a lot of just um infantry balances tank balances that's just not my forte so i'm not probably ever going to touch on any of that i'm going to try and seek out kind of the more logic related or just kind of creative ideas so appreciate you all watching take care